In this video, we'll be covering recent updates on Australia's notorious bikies and their sprawling networks. We'll dive into a recent national run video in Melbourne, major developments and ongoing investigations, a police appeal for information on bikies, and finally a bizarre twist where charges are unexpectedly dropped. So let's get started. The first update centers on the Mongols MC, who released the video of their national run 2024. The club captured the intensity of their annual national run with a professionally shot video that highlights both the scale and camaraderie of the event. Held in Melbourne last month, the video opens with sweeping drone footage and high-definition shots that track the group of nearly 100 Mongols bikies as they move through the city streets. The event culminates in a group photo on Bertie Street in Port Melbourne before members gather at the Burn City Mongols Clubhouse, solidifying a moment of pride and unity among attendees. Throughout the video, members are seen dressed in the club's signature black and white colors, a striking combination that emphasizes their unique style. Their attire is topped with leather vests bearing the iconic Mongols patch, a badge of loyalty that carries significant importance within the club's ranks. In addition to the bold sartorial display, many Mongols bikies proudly showcase their commitment to the club with bikie tattoos including 1% Diamond, and other bikie insignia. Featuring with the Mongols were the Raiders who are their affiliates, or the Feeder Club. Mongols bikies from various chapters like the Tweed Coast, Perth, Nomad, Gold Coast, Burn City and Sydney formed a part of the video and the run. The video captures the Mongols MC members unwinding at the clubhouse, where they enjoy food, beer, and camaraderie. Scenes show members gathered around tables, sharing meals and drinks, with the lively atmosphere enhanced by a pool table at the center of the room. The clubhouse is richly adorned with the Mongols insignia, featuring the iconic Mongol patch and logo prominently displayed on walls and banners. The clubhouse walls are emblazoned with Mongols' motto, like Mongols forever, forever Mongols, respect few fear none and support brothers behind bars. The video also spotlights the Mongols' flair for luxury, featuring high-end motorcycles alongside a selection of impressive, expensive cars including Lamborghinis and Corvettes. Among the sleek vehicles are a variety of luxury and sports cars, adding an element of opulence to the gritty aesthetic. The gathering, steeped in tradition and strength, not only celebrates the club's history but also demonstrates its continued presence and influence in Australia's bikey scene. The video has gained significant traction, amassing an impressive 19,000 views within just one week, highlighting its popularity on YouTube. The next update is from Western Australia District Court in Perth, where Rebels MC nominee Mate Stipanovich and his associate Aristides Avlanitis have pleaded guilty to their roles in a massive $137 million cocaine importation plot off the coast of Albany. The two men, alongside Carl Whitburn, were initially rescued from the ocean in February 2023 after being found clinging to an esky when their boat capsized. According to them they were fishing near Eclipse Island off the Albany coast when their vessel capsized in heavy seas and started to sink in the morning. After fearing for their life they activated a distress beacon. They ended up in the water and luckily had life jackets and an esky to keep them afloat. Footage from Australian Maritime Safety Authority jets showed the men clinging to an esky in the water before their rescue. Three men were plucked from the ocean by Albany Sea Rescue members were later praised for wearing life jackets and in following safety protocols. What started as a feel-good rescue tale took a wild plot twist and escalated into a high-profile drug bust when authorities recovered the capsized boat a week later, discovering 330 kilograms of cocaine on board. Turns out, their fishing trip wasn't exactly about snagging a feed, it was more of a high-stakes catch and release, Aussie style. Following their identification, the men became high-priority suspects. Avlanitis was extradited from Darwin, and Whitburn was later apprehended in Perth. Stipanovich, a former Rebels bikie nominee, managed to evade capture for six weeks before being found hiding with a loaded handgun in a secret compartment under a spa in Byford. All three men were charged with importing a commercial quantity of a border-controlled drug. Stipanovich and Avlanitis, now facing potential life sentences, have pleaded guilty to possessing commercial quantities of unlawfully imported drugs, with upcoming court appearances set for November 8 and December 6. Carl Whitburn has pleaded not guilty. It will be interesting to see how the court proceedings unfold, especially given the gravity of the charges and the surprising twist in what initially seemed like a routine rescue. The third update is from Bonnerig, 
where Raptor squad officers have charged a lone wolf bikey with firearm offenses. About 7 a.m. on Wednesday, October 30, 2024, Raptor squad officers executed a firearms prohibition order compliance check in Sydney's West. A firearms prohibition order prohibits a person from acquiring, possessing or using a firearm, firearm parts or ammunition when they have acted against the public interest. During a search of the home, police located six firearms, a rifle suppressor, nearly 2,000 rounds of ammunition, a slingshot, and a car and two motorcycles which are believed to be stolen. All items were seized to undergo further forensic examination. About 7.40 p.m. the same day, a 40-year-old lone wolf bikey was arrested at Liverpool Police Station where he was charged with 16 firearm offenses, five vehicle rebirthing offenses, two prohibited weapon offenses and one drug offense. He was refused bail to appear in Liverpool local court. The fourth update is from Victoria, where detectives from the ECHO task force have released a dashcam footage and have appealed for public assistance following a shocking roadside assault of an unknown rider by members of the Mongols Bikey Club on the Monash Freeway last month, turning an ordinary ride into a nightmare. Around 12.15 p.m. on Saturday 19th of October, Five members of the Mongols MC were captured on a car dashcam traveling inbound on the Monash Freeway near the Wellington Road exit. Without warning, one rider veered towards the L-plate motorcyclist, launching punches and kicking at him while traveling at high speeds. Forced to take evasive action, the shaken rider managed to stay upright but is seen dangerously close to being thrown off his bike. All the bikies are speeding down the freeway, with the victim attempting to switch lanes to avoid them. However, the Mongols' bikies follow closely, refusing to let him escape. Investigators have been unable to identify the victim and are keen to speak to him. Detectives are also keen to speak to anyone who was traveling on the Monash Freeway at that time and who may have dashcam footage of the incident. Following the footage released Detective Acting Inspector Alan Rumble released a media statement saying that this is completely unacceptable behavior by an outlaw motorcycle club, thinking they are above the law and putting innocent members of our community at risk. Targeting an innocent L-plate motorbike rider who was simply going about his day is seriously reckless and cowardly behavior. We have made it a priority to follow up every avenue of inquiry available to us and to hold those responsible to account. If you have dashcam footage of this incident or you witnessed it, please get in touch with police. We are not intimidated by outlaw motorcycle gangs, and we will not allow our community to be either. With this footage now in the public eye, the pressure is on. It will be interesting to see how quickly the offenders are arrested, as according to police the special task force is determined to ensure those responsible are held accountable. The last update is on gangland figure Mick Gatto, who had been facing charges of extortion, blackmail, assault, and producing firearms. Restaurateur Jamal Muhammad initially filed charges in February, alleging Gatto threatened and assaulted him over two decades, demanding $2,000 weekly from 1999 to 2019. Gatto allegedly produced a handgun during threats in 1999, 2002, and 2014. Later the Office of Public Prosecutions took over the prosecution in September but applied to withdraw all charges last week in Melbourne Magistrates Court. Prosecutor did not provide a reason for the decision to drop the case. Mixed Barrister, applied for costs against both the Office of Public Prosecutions and Muhammad. Mick Gatto is a well-known figure in Melbourne's underworld, often associated with the notorious gangland wars of the 1990s and 2000s. Born in 1955, he initially worked in various labor-intensive jobs, including as a boxing promoter and crane operator, before gaining prominence as a mediator within Melbourne's criminal circles. His role as a mediator, particularly between rival gangs and bikies, helped him cultivate influence and respect among underworld figures and avoid some of the violence that consumed others during the gangland conflicts. Mick was portrayed in the Australian TV series Underbelly, which dramatized the gangland wars. Despite his claims to have left a life of crime behind, Mick has faced various legal challenges over the years, including weapons charges and defamation lawsuits. If you're looking for more thrilling and edgy bikey updates, don't hesitate, whack that subscribe button, spread and share the video, hit that like button, and drop your thoughts in the comments. And for the true grid Spartans out there, consider sending a super thanks or buy us a coffee to show some love. Your support keeps us going and the channel thriving, especially since most of our videos aren't monetized due to all the crime-related content. Stay tuned, stay curious, stay awesome, and take care. Wu-Tang.